All right, good morning, everybody. Today, I did it. Oh, I shorted my favorite long-term stock, ChargePoint CHPT. I did it. It's my biggest long-term holding, as many of you know. But I went short, so we're going to see how it goes. Let's go to this trade. All right, so it was charge point popping here out of the opening gates and you can see it's starting to alert on the scanner into the 15s here. So looking for a bit higher if we can push up into the 1880s now. So watching it here into the 1880s, waiting to see what it does, kind of sitting there. So I'll go ahead and hit the button, get short 200 shares here on charge point at 1880. And I'll look to add if this thing can get through 19 now. So they'll start pushing pretty much immediately, which is good. That's what I look for. That's what I want out of a move. What I'm going to be adding in is that just big, fast, continuous moves. So looking for up through 19 now. See if we can get that here on charge point. So it's coming up towards 19. Can it push through 19? There it's through 19. So now I'm going to wait and pick and see if I can find a spot here. Get a little bit better price. I think I can get at least 19.10. So waiting to see if 19.10 can get through. There's through 19.10. Click the button. Get the fill there at 19.10 for 200 more shares. Now I have 400 shares short with an average of 18.95. And we'll see what it does. Can it run up towards 1950? Kind of that 1950 was my idea for that um, normal final ad there. But it kind of goes sideways. It came down a little bit, did not get to a fill point. So I decide once it gets up to the 1950s to add in my final share size and then just have a tight stop here. I was just going to click the cover off. It came up through the 1950s here. So I was basically risking nothing on this extra 400 shares, which then enabled me to get my share size up and my average up to 1921 on these 800s. So that was kind of the idea here. And that's going to be the idea about six minutes later. Once it's pulled back down a little bit, but not much, it's coming back up. I'm like, okay, really? What I can do is get another 800 shares in here, double my position, get my average way up, have a really good share size, and be risking very little on this if I add in here and just put a stop. You can see I put the stop in immediately with the 1600 just over to the highs. So I have 1600 shares short now in charge point at 1933 on the average. And it was just looking like it was rejecting that 1950. So I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. And if it failed, it failed. I lost slightly more than I was going to originally. But if it works, it's going to make it a lot more easy for me to get out of this trade on the green side. So watching here, seeing if it get down below the 1930s, my average at 1933, probably could have been a bit more patient here on this cover. I click the button, I get the fill there at 1929 for 1400 shares, but I do leave 200 shares left over in case this thing wants to continue back to the downside. And really ultimately, I'm hoping that it's going to return to where it started the day, even though that's going to not help my long-term position, but uh, my long-term position on my average is like 1330. So I'm not really worried about the intraday moves here on charge point for my long-term, but it does come down there in below 1920. So take another 100 shares off there at 1918. And now with this last 100 shares, I decide, okay, well, what should I do here? I'm probably just gonna put a stop at 1950, which is high a day. And if that gets hit, oh well, I've lost five bucks, but Otherwise, I'm just going to let it run in case it wants to run out to the lower days. And if that happens, I can make another $100 just with that 100 shares. So that was kind of the plan here with the remaining 100 shares on charge point, just putting that stop in at 1950. And then if it didn't hit that, I was just going to let it ride and see if it could hopefully make me some money with that last 100 shares. But unfortunately, it did the opposite. It tried to come down and get below VWAP, you can see there, but it got caught up there, didn't get it. So... It goes ahead and stops me out. I got the fill at 1951 there. So all out for a $6 loss on that 100 uh, final shares and overall up $60. So, you know, for what it was, it could have been much better, could have been much worse, certainly could have been a losing trade here for about 250 maybe, 260 somewhere in there. But, uh, you know, I'll take it and, and move on. So adding $60 into the account today, I'll take it can't complain when you're making money in the market and it's going to be on to a whole bunch more yard work for me today so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit like and subscribe be back tomorrow for friday and i'll catch you in the next one